Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm here today to show you how to create a thank you card, but I'm also going to tell you about several new promotions that are happening in October from Stampin' Up! And I'm also going to show you how to take my thank you card idea and make it into a Christmas card or a birthday card. And I'm going to do this with the help, of course, of my Big Shot. But first, let's talk about one of Stampin' Up's new October promotions. And there are three of them right now. But I'll talk about this one here, and then I'll share the other two over on my blog, which is nutsaboutstamping.com. So one of the October promotions is around the designer series paper. Stampin' Up! has a special deal. You buy three packs of designer series paper and you get one pack for free. There are 13 different options for your paper choices for this promotion and two of them are from the holiday catalog and 11 are from the annual catalog. So if you've been really wanting to pick up a couple of packs of paper, this would be the time to do it. One of the packs is the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series Paper Pack, and that's what I'm going to feature today on my card. I love this paper because it can be used for Christmas, it can be used for fall, and it can be used for winter card ideas, or even masculine card ideas. I love the plaids in this pack because I think they can be feminine or they can be masculine. So if you're looking for some great masculine ideas, winter ideas, Christmas ideas, or fall ideas, this is one of the packs you should consider for this special promotion. My card base is going to be Whisper White. I've cut it 11 by 4 and a quarter and I scored it at the 5 and a half mark and it's going to be a portrait layout and there's a reason for that and I'll explain that in a minute. To that I'm going to add two strips of the Merry Little Christmas paper. I'm also going to provide you a link on this video so that you can go over and you can get a handout on the other packs of paper that are for sale. And I'll have, of course, more details on my blog. Oops, before I do that, I want to attach my paper. So the first strip is five and a half. No, it's five and... That's five and a quarter by one. That's the more narrow strip. And then the second strip is cut one and a half by five and a quarter. Just get my snail going. Here we go. And I've used the same paper, and I've just used the opposite side. I love that our paper is double-sided. Okay. And I'm going to attach it like that. Then I'm going to set it aside for a bit. And I'm going to use my Lovely as a Tree stamp set. Love this one for fall cards, masculine cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards. I'm going to use this tall image. And I have a strip or a leftover piece of Whisper White. It's four inches square. I'm going to ink up this tree using Old Olive ink. One of my favorite colors ever, and I'm so happy that it's part of the Merry Little Christmas paper. It's one of the colors. Okay, I'm going to ink that up, and I'm going to stamp that down on this piece of Whisper White. Excellent. I'm going to set this aside for a second, and then I'm going to stamp my phrase at the same time. I've decided to make a thank you card, as I said at the beginning of this video, because I promised myself that in 2017, every single person that places an order from me at my online store, and I'll provide a link as well to my online store, um, after the video is over, just go down into the description box and you'll be able to place an order using the links there. But I promised myself that every person that placed an order with me would get a thank you card, and so far I have kept up with my promise to myself. 
So I am using the Thankful Thoughts stamp set. I love these two smaller phrases for layers on the card and then the bigger phrases, phrases for the inside. And I'm going to ink it up using basic black, the archival ink, like so. I'll clean that in a minute. And then I am going to bring in my big shot and I'm going to die cut both the tree and the phrase using two ovals from my layering ovals framelits pack. I love the ovals. It makes just such a lovely card layer idea. All right, so my sandwich is the magnetic platform, bottom standard cutting pad. I'm going to put on both of the images that I want to die cut out. Then I'm going to put on the top standard cutting pad, lay it down really carefully, hold it in place while I run it through my Big Shot. There we go. And I'm done with the need for my Big Shot. So now I'm going to bring in my card and before I add my layers, I want to take some of this um, basic black baker's twine and I'm going to add a couple of um, wraps of this twine around and here's a sneaky way to do it. I know that my tree is going to be covering it up. So what I'm going to do is put some adhesive here and I'm just going to start my baker's twine. I always leave it on the bolt and then I just cut off the amount that I need when I'm done. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this and then I'm going to attach this like so. So it looks like I have the two pieces like so. And then what I'm going to do is bring in my scissors and I'm going to cut it off the bolt like so. Now I'm going to bring in some stamping dimensionals and I'm going to finish off my card. All right, so I'm going to put a stampin' dimensional at the bottom and a stampin' dimensional at the top of my tree layer. That's all I need. And I'm going to add this layer to the front of my card and I'm going to put it over a little bit to the left because I want to add my phrase on the right hand side. I could do it on the left hand side but I know that I want to add it over here. I think I'm going to move this over just a little bit more. If you like this video or you want to offer some comments to me, please do so in the comment box underneath or click the like button if you like my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my, new, uh, to my YouTube channel. Speaking of subscriptions, I have a special series coming out called The 12 Weeks of Christmas. It's starting this week, the first week in October, and it'll run through till the last week before Christmas. I'll show you Christmas card ideas, gift ideas, bag and tag ideas, and it's free to subscribe to my newsletter. I'll provide a link as well in the description box. All right, so my card is almost done. I've got my tree and I've got my phrase. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of these little embellishments 
that are in Old Olive. And I, because I've got these little snowflakes, I'm going to pick up a couple of the stars because those little snowflakes kind of look like stars. And I'm going to add two of them at the top of my card, like so. And there we go, my card idea is complete and ready to mail to somebody special. Now I did promise at the beginning of the video that I would show you another idea. So this is using the same side of the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper. Uh, I made it a birthday card, I added a baker's twine bow, and I used two of the circle embellishments instead of the star embellishments. So there you go, hopefully you can see these two different ideas. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used for this card and the measurement for the layers, or to sign up for my 12 Weeks of Christmas free newsletter series, please hop to my blog, www.netsaboutstamping.com. I'm Terry. I'm Nets About Stamping. I hope that you'll create something beautiful today too. Bye for now.